I'm here with Jonathan, who's the Solar System Ambassador for NASA, and he's going to tell us a little bit about the Space Shuttle Shield tiles. Yeah, so, so this is uh, one of our silica tiles, and so it's made from spun silica, so if you think of uh, a cotton candy, spun sugar, this is a very similar process, obviously you wouldn't want to take a bite out of this, it would probably kill you, uh, spun silica dioxide, and so we, we source sand from here in the United States, we refine it, and we spin it, and we, we basically make larger blocks, and, and they're cut to specification depending on where they go on the space shuttle. Now, out of the five orbiters, each shuttle had its own coordinate system, so this tile would not fit on any other orbiter. This tile particularly was made for Discovery here. And on Discovery, 23,211 of these tiles. And that's a combination of both the black tiles and the white tiles that you might see a little bit more closer to the top. And this is one of the four components, one of the four major components, I should say, of the thermal protection system on the space shuttle. So is there a certain spot where this one goes? So, so this one in particular, actually, we're the furthest we could be from it. It goes all the way on the back corner of the windmill bar. But if you'd like, we can walk that way and uh, we can talk about the tiles. Sure. And so obviously we have the space shuttle tiles. We have quite a few of them. And in between each and every single tile is a gap filler. And so you might notice on the shuttle here, little lines of white. And that could be the uh, tile gap filler. And so these are hand sewn and they use a quartz fabric. And, and what happens is, while the space shuttle is coming back through the atmosphere, it's, uh, it's, it's heated, right? It's, it's flexing. So the heat from the space shuttle, which doesn't necessarily come straight from the, from the friction, comes from the compression of gases, which creates plasma from the front, which shrouds the bottom of the space shuttle and, and really heats it up. And, uh, and you'll also notice on each tile a little stamp, a little circle stamp. Before each and every mission, every single tile on Discovery here and on all the orbiters had to be filled with an antifreeze. And the antifreeze prevented from uh, water buildup inside of the tiles. And uh, we, we didn't want water inside the tiles because out in Cape Canaveral, and if you think about pressure as we change, as we go up through the atmosphere, we didn't want t uh, water to build up and freeze and expand and crack the tiles. So, so that was really important. Um, coming up on this side, the leading edge of the wing here, is the same material as on the nose cone. It's a more gray. It kind of looks like a, like a gunmetal gray. This material here is called carbon cover. And so these pieces are just over an inch thick, around an inch thick. And the carbon carbon, at least the, at least the spot over here, is where we saw the accident from, uh, from Challenger. So it was a Challenger accident. Challenger accident uh, was 1986. And a piece of the large fuel tank uh, broke off, a piece of foam broke off and put a hole in the carbon carbon, which is made to get around 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. So we certainly don't want that. Underneath, the, underneath all of the thermal protection and all the glue is an aluminum body. So aluminum does not do well with heat. And uh, yeah, we keep making our way around here. Yeah. Aside from carbon carbon, uh, there, there's also, uh, we have silica blankets. So similar material to what you find in the tile that's turned into a blanket. So you'll see, especially here on the OMS pod, this is orbital maneuvering system is what OMS stands for. The, the white uh, squares, larger squares, are going to be the blankets. And there's also some around the engine nozzles. Almost every single mission needed to have replacements for the engine nozzle. Uh, thermal blankets and so uh, I have a friend that actually worked on those and it takes about four days to do a half circle So eight days to make a full circle and it's all done by hand. The, the machines can't really work with the silica threads too well And uh, after after those blankets are put on and glued onto the space shuttle similar to how these towels are glued on uh, They are coated with ceramic paint and so you might yes. notice that some of the tiles, or, or sorry, some of the blankets have the service ceramic unglazed pot look to them. And that's because they literally have a ceramic paint to protect from any sort of fraying or scorching on the, on the uh, fibers. Interesting. This tile in particular goes in a space about right there. So I'd, I probably have to do a little bit more research to make sure I got the exact right spot. V070 refers to flight ready. It's ready for the space shuttle. It's not a test piece or a scrap piece. And then 193 is going to tell me that it goes in this general section. 002 is going to pinpoint me into a smaller section. And then 105 is going to be the actual tile location. 
And so this, this tile is about uh, two and a half inches thick. And this is about the average thickness underneath the tile. So was this tile originally on the space shuttle, or is this a replica? This, this is a tile made to be replaced. Okay. Made to replace the one that, that's up there. Now the one that's up there, I, I believe, had been replaced before. There are, there are a few copies of this tile. And typically you'll notice in spots like edges and around the fuel doors, the darker black tiles, those have been replaced more often. Uh, just because of more wear and tear. And so there are some locations on the space shuttle that the tiles were replaced after every mission. Wow, that's awesome. This is great. Um, <laughs> so does it matter that these tiles, are these tiles um, attached differently since they're on the uh, yellow ones, I think? Or? So they're, they're still glued on. Every tile is still glued on. And uh, an interesting bit of information, uh, obviously you know that you can't put any tile in any different spot. It all goes in a very particular spot. And uh, one thing that's interesting to know is that all of the numbering and letters are going to be orientated in a way where if the shuttle was ready for launch up on the pad, you'd be able to read it uh, straight. Or like wow. how? And in any instance where that's not the case, they put arrows on the tile to tell you which way is forward. That way you know the orientation when you're placing a tile on the shuttle. Amazing. So it'll face, uh, face towards the center forward. Awesome. And is there any difference between the, the tiles that are there to fit around the curves of the... Uh, the only difference there would be would be the uh, shape. Okay. Um, but they're all the same material, same density, mm -hmm. um, same coating on the outside, just uh, just shapes differently. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Well, anyway, thank you for teaching us about it. It's awesome. Pleasure. Our mission is to make you space intelligent.